going to our hotel. Okay, we're here at Matsudo exit. It's about an hour train ride from Tokyo. Matsudo Grand Hotel. See how wide this elevator is. Is this a rub hotel? <laughs> Pao found her favorite pudding. This is the family mark. That's the one and what's the other one? Ohio. Ohio. Okay, that's it. That's good. Hey guys, so we're staying tonight at Matsudo Grand Hotel because it's uh, walking distance to Osamu Tomita's restaurant. So it's about six minutes. So Right now it's 12 a.m. or 12.30, I can't remember. I will try to go to his restaurant around 6.30 or 7 so I can get a ticket. Because I think over there it's first come, first serve. If you go there early, you can get a ticket so you can eat later. So I was reading some reviews last night and I think they're still doing that. But I uh, I also read a blog where you can reserve online. But So I'm hoping that we can still get a reservation. So this is the flagship restaurant. He has a couple uh, of restaurants all around Tokyo, but this one is the one that you see in the movie. So the flagship restaurant. So, can we tour? Good morning guys. It's currently uh, 6.40, 6.45 and I'm on my way to Osamu Tomita's uh, restaurant. And I'm hoping I can get some tickets uh, so we can dine in later to try his uh, famous Sukumen ramen. Restaurant and uh, let's see if you can see it. So, 
finally found a place and I see that um, so it's you know there's someone inside so I'm hoping I can get some tickets so when they open up later at 11 we can uh, dine in in here so I'll just wait for a little bit and see what happens I was uh, reading some of this uh, what do you call this this paper this notes and also in front of this floor it says ticket meal has ended <laughs> so I was like oh shit are they doing it are they doing online uh, reservations now and uh, so I went in front of the door and <laughs> thankfully you know the guy was you know the door was a little bit open and uh, I asked the guy you know super hey go ahead I see my so what that means is, excuse me, you speak English. Then he said yes, and he pointed, pointed this like this seat. And he's like, okay, you need to go here and wait. And uh, he was speaking in Japanese, but he mentioned that uh, that you know the it will open at eight, so I'm a little bit early, so about an hour early. Right now, it's uh, I arrived here at seven a.m. and it's only seven fifteen. So. Uh, so they open at 8, so I will wait here for the next 45 minutes, get the ticket, go to our hotel, take a little bit of a nap, and uh, come back here. I think I think they open at 11 or 12, I can't remember, but yeah. So this, right now I'm just killing time. Uh, first in life. Okay. Hopefully it's worth it, because it's a little bit cold, you know, it's still manageable. Um, the thing it's not raining or it's not snow so all right let me just go browse on online facebook and plan our uh or not facebook right now i can uh just uh chill here and start planning for our kyoto tour because after this we're gonna head to kyoto uh, via shinkansen so uh, definitely excited about that so because right now it's autumn autumn or fall season and I heard now it's the best time. So it's the first week of January, and the uh, right now I heard the the autumn in, in Japan is very nice. So we've never been here at this time of year, so I'm looking forward to it. Cheers. So, good news, guys. We got the reservation. Uh, I mean, we got the ticket. So, um, we need to be back here at 10 30 a.m. And uh, the guy was saying that be sure to be on time because if we lose the uh, if, if we're late, we are going to lose our spot. So, right now it's 8 a.m. And I'm gonna go back to the hotel, take a quick nap, and uh, come back here and try the sukumen ramen so i ordered two two putatsu for me and the wifey so can't wait <laughs> all right here we go it's 10 26 a.m and we're supposed to be there 10 30. uh we got a little hold up from the front desk uh, we gotta hurry up. Anyways, we'll make it, we'll make it. Food. Just the food, which is good because when we went to so Paul was saying no um there's a, a signage the guy was explaining no pictures of the, the staff so just the food so that's that's good because last time when we went to Jiro Jiro um 
he's a sushi chef in his restaurant you cannot take photo or video of anything so with this just the food which is pretty cool so okay so there's a little line behind me and uh, the good thing about this is I did I did not see any tourists <laughs> and that every it's all Japanese so that means that this place is uh, you know it's also good it's also great for the for for the locals so uh, that's saying something so if you uh, see a restaurant and you see a lot of locals dining in that's a good sign so pretty excited Before dining here, I tried a couple of tsukimen in the US, in San Francisco, and one here in uh, in Tokyo, like two days ago. Uh, so I have uh, something to compare to. And so far, you know, I, need, I may need to try more tsukimen, but you know, at least this one I have something to compare to. Because, uh, you know, this, this restaurant here, and they won four years in a row so best ramen so i think uh, it's a great experience and uh, so far it's really good the broth is really thick flavorful and i can really taste the the mackerel um what else but it's not too uh i guess not too salty but the, the noodles so it's it's very soft and chewy and they have some instructions on how you can enjoy your sukumen and we Pao and I did that so we started with the noodle so you can 
taste the wheat in your mouth. Then after that, you dip the noodle halfway to the uh, the dipping sauce. Then you eat it. Then after that, you can just uh, dip the whole noodle and try it. Try it with uh, you know just try it with the noodles or you try it with the the meat afterward. So um, yeah, so that's another thing off of our list. And uh, we're glad that we had the time to to try the you know the uh, to try that restaurant before we head to Tokyo. So mission accomplished. <laughs>